The most powerful humanoid was imprisoned in the mountain for hundreds of years, but an innocent kid accidentally breaks the shield and brings back chaos. Once upon a time long ago, there was a monkey king. His name was Sun Wukong. He had magnificent powers beyond belief. He once created a tremendous uproar in the Heavenly Palace and angered the Jade Emperor. The Monkey King had defeated the whole Heavenly Army with great victory, yet the Grand Buddha disliked his defiance against the heavens. Since then, Sun Wukong has been imprisoned under the Mountain of Five Elements for the last 500 years. However, Sun Wukong is the, the Great Sage equaling heavens. He can't die so easily. He's just in a deep sleep. People still tell his stories to their children just like this couple. As it gets dark, the couple heads back home with their baby boy. Suddenly, a group of deadly beasts called Mountain Trolls block their way. The father gets killed and the mother prefers jumping off the cliff instead of getting captured by the trolls. She dies in the incident, but her baby survives and he is found by an old monk called Effa Ming. He names the baby Lore. Time passes really soon and the baby grows up into a mischievous kid. He hangs around in the village and often teases the neighborhood. Effa Ming advises Liu to be mature and sensible. Monks are not supposed to live like others. Meditation, reciting sutra, and Zen staying away from arrogance and haste. One must do this all to become a real monk. Liu doesn't agree as he wants to be powerful. Reciting Sutra is not enough to scare away those deadly mountain trolls. But the old man advises Luer to start from small deeds. Life is just an illusion, so the monks prefer keeping peace, and they avoid fighting as much as possible. As the rain stops, the mountain trolls attack the village. They knock down the soldiers and start kidnapping children. They have collected 48 children, but want another baby girl. One of the trolls finds a girl, but Luer saves her. With the help of Effa Ming, Luer tries to hide away, but the trolls find him eventually. They they follow the kids all around the village and they reach the edge of a cliff. Viewer carries the baby in a basket and slides down to the forest. The night has set in already and the trolls have lost track of the kids. Meanwhile, Eva Ming is anxiously looking for the kids. The next morning, Liuer finds a group of tiny creatures who help him in collecting peaches. Liuer suddenly notices a footprint and realizes that the trolls are still after him. He rushes inside a small cave to hide, but it turns out to be a historical place. A huge crystal is standing in the center with a hand-like structure. As soon as Liuer touches the crystal hand, it starts to crack. Within seconds, the whole tower breaks down. When Lure opens his eyes again, he sees the trolls entering inside the cave. But a mysterious monkey emerges from the ground and beats up the trolls. He looks at the kids, but doesn't harm them and leaves the cave. The monkey jumps around and enjoys the freedom. He's not a common animal. He's Sun Wukong, the monkey king who was captured in the mountains for the last 500 years. He escaped, but the remnant of Buddha's seal around his wrist is not allowing Wukong to use his full strength. Lur keeps following Wukong and recognizes him as the Great Sage. The kid gets really excited and asks him thousands of questions regarding the gods and history. Suddenly, they are interrupted by the Lord of Mountains who comes to get back Wukong. He mocks Wukong for being powerless as he can't break the seal from his wrist. Wukong can't use his full power, but he can use his brain. He notices the talisman on the Lord's back and proceeds to remove it. Unfortunately, he fails and the Lord captures him. Lior puts down the baby and rushes to help the Monkey King. As soon as he removes the talisman, the Lord of the Mountain breaks into stones and falls down the cliff along with Lior. After a while, Lior opens his eyes, lying near the baby. Monkey King saved him, and he also caught a huge fish to feed the kids. Liu thanks Wukong for saving him, but he refuses to eat the fish. Being a monk, he can't eat meat. Li wants to take Wukong to his village so he can save them from the trolls, but Wukong refuses immediately. He has enough problems of his own. Liu notices a temple nearby and proceeds to explore it. A fat man called Pigsy comes out of it and he suddenly turns into a huge pig. He starts to eat the fish all by himself, so Liu threatens him with Wukong's presence. The pig isn't afraid and steps forward to challenge Wukong but gets defeated brutally. This reminds the beast that he used to be a war god who was thrown among the pigs by the Monkey King. He wants revenge, but he is still afraid of Monkey King. The sun rises and Wukong leaves. Liu Yer makes fun of Pigsy for being a coward. Pigsy gets angry and tries changing his form into some deadly beast, but ends up as a cat. He uses his sense of smell to find Wukong, but he doesn't have courage to face him and takes different forms to avoid getting beaten. Liu Yer really enjoys the magic show and keeps asking for more. Suddenly, a huge dragon proceeds towards him. Wukong rushes there and tells the kid to hide. The dragon growls loudly and leaves. It's a powerful one called the White Dragon. Wukong scolds Lua for getting near the beast, and he also warns Pigsy not to attract more demons. Lua spots the dragon flying away and wants to have a closer look. Wukong calls it the definition of freedom, soaring through the clouds when no one can stop you. Wukong could fly too before getting punished by Buddha. Lua also wishes to be able to fly one day and the Monkey King assures that anyone can fly if he is strong enough. 
After realizing that Wukong is getting soft, Luer starts questioning him again about the gods. They continue the rest of the journey together and learn more about each other. Meanwhile, Faming is also risking everything to find the kid. After sleeping outside for days, Luer and his friends finally find an inn. A beautiful woman and a fat man live there. They get scared at first, but Leroy explains that Wukong and Pixie are not dangerous. Afterwards, the woman welcomes the guests warmly and offers them a room to spend the night. Liu can't fall asleep and starts talking to Wukong. Liu wonders where the Monkey King will go after dropping the kids at their village. Wukong replies that he does have a home in Huguashin, which is also known as the Mountain of Flowers and Fruits. In history, it is described as heaven on earth, but it's a hundred thousand miles away. If Monkey King had all of his powers, he would reach home in just seconds by leaping through the clouds. Lure feels sad for Wukong and promises that after returning home, he will work harder on Sutra so he can pray to Buddha for returning Monkey King's powers. The sweet words melts Wakong's heart, and he is surprised that people like Lure still exist in this cruel world. Later that night, Pixie sneaks into the kitchen to steal some food. The owner tries to kill him, but Pigsy knocks him down in one blow. Suddenly, his wife walks in, so Pigsy takes the form of the owner. He tries to trick her as long as possible, but soon he realizes that the woman is not normal either. She is actually a troll disguised as a human to track down Luar and steal the baby girl. Pigsy can't hold his form for long and reveals his identity. The woman tries attacking him, but Wukong reaches there in time. He was suspicious of this end from the start. The woman calls the other trolls, and they surround the Monkey King from all sides. Wukong advises Liu to hide away while he handles the trolls. Even with incomplete powers, Wukong gives the trolls a tough time. Meanwhile, Liu escapes with the baby and Pixie. The trolls jump on Wukong all at once, but the Great Sage throws all of them away. He even destroys the whole inn just with the impact of his powers. The Lord of the Trolls, Hundun, appears and sends another group of demons. Wukong grabs a stick and knocks down all the demons one after another. Afterward, he takes his mates to escape in a boat, but Hundun reaches there too. He takes away the baby and also mocks Wakong's helplessness. The Monkey King attacks Hundun in anger, but the mysterious Lord's powers are unbeatable. They swim to the shore, and Lure starts insisting Wakong to go rescue the baby. The kid grew up hearing that the Monkey King is the protector of humanity, so he can't believe otherwise. Wukong gets frustrated and refuses to help. He believes that he never asked the kid to follow him. Liu gets heartbroken and runs away to rescue the girl by himself. Soon he gets lost in the woods and feels scared of getting caught by the trolls. Meanwhile, Wukong breaks down stones and jumps in water to take out his frustration. He finds Liu's monkey doll which reminds Wukong how the little kid admired him and called him a hero. How can he leave the poor kid alone in the deadly forest? He jumps out of the water and starts regretting his actions. Wukong stops Pixie and reminds him that they are supposed to complete a mission. They must save the kids before the time runs out. Hundun is planning to sacrifice the kids and use their essence to achieve immortality for himself. Liwa reaches Hundun's cave but he gets spotted by the trolls. Luckily, Effa Ming reaches there and saves the kid. While trying to run away, they end up hanging on the cage in which the kids are kept. It hits Hundun and rolls outside. The solar eclipse has started, and it's time to start the ritual. Hundun proceeds to get back the cage, but the white dragon interrupts him. It appears out of nowhere and leaves after catching a troll. Luer still doesn't have to worry, as Monkey King has arrived to help them. He uses stones and sticks to fight Hundun, but it's no match to the powers the evil lord has. He tried distracting Hundun and takes him to a high cliff. They both fall down from there but Wukong grabs something to hang on while Hundun disappears in thin air. Wukong returns the doll to Lure and he believes that the calamity has ended now. However, it was just the start. Hundun returns after turning into a huge slimy beast. He uses his powerful laser beam to knock down Wukong. Liu rushes to help Wukong, but Wukong advises him to stay back. Liu turns to him and says that if the Great Sage is protecting everyone, then there should be someone to protect the Great Sage. Saying such touching words, Liu starts distracting the monster. Hun Kun gets after Liu and Wukong receives some time to get out of the rocks. He rushes to save the kid, but it's too late. Wukong starts looking for Liu, but he only finds his lifeless hand with the monkey doll. The rude-looking monkey starts crying like a baby. His pure love and care for the kid even melts Buddha's heart, and the seal is removed. Wukong regains his armor and his cape, the protector of humanity, the Great Sage. The unbeatable Monkey King is back. He pulls out his legendary weapon and slices Hunkun into a thousand pieces. The eclipse disappears and the sun rises again. Wakong is still sad over the loss, but he suddenly hears someone calling him. It's Lior. He broke a few bones, but he is still breathing though. They finally return to the village by flying on the clouds and deliver the kidnapped children back to their families. Struggles and sufferings are life's methods to teach you some valuable lessons. The quicker you learn them, the sooner good times will return.